Trump wins again, big time. I mean, this today's victory by Trump was quite possibly his biggest surprise victory ever. And of course, what I'm talking about is the appeals court in New York changed the judgment from almost $500 million down to, what was it, 174? Uh, yeah, they shaved off 60%. Six, yeah. I, and, you know, Trump had announced on Friday on True Social that he had $500 million in cash just laying around. And the meltdowns haven't, they're starting in the mainstream media, mm-hmm. but they haven't sunk in yet, right? They haven't completely sunk in yet exactly what has happened. And th- if you watch CNN, and if you're not watching CNN, you should, because that the meltdowns and the and their reactions and shock and amazement of what Trump was able to accomplish today is just fun to watch. They had uh, anchors, not not reporters. They had anchors and anchor chairs outside the the courthouse yep. in New York City, waiting for uh, Letitia James to start seizing Trump properties. They were what they were, they were on seizure watch. They were waiting. They were all set up out there with their equipment and everything. They were waiting for Trump to come in and leave and Letitia James to come out and say, we're going to go seize Trump Tower right now. Exactly. We're going to walk down the street and put a lock on it. And and it's ours. It belongs to us. Because in their fantasy, Trump doesn't have the money. She was going to, and that would be the first property they were going to go after. That's the crown jewel of his whole thing. The only thing is I'm wondering, and and this is probably not true, but I'll play devil's advocate. Judges do talk. Do you think that the first judge gave an exorbitant amount so the appellate court could come in and lower it and they could still get a bunch of money out of him? No, no, the judge, the judge, uh, judge and Goran just didn't didn't care. He's just, just, he's just a, a minion of evil. Well, it's a, whatever happened, it's a break. For Trump, and I love how uh, well, it's a, Bill, Kathy. It's a break for the country. For us, he shouldn't be charged anything, so it's still a travesty. But I'm sure Trump is happy with this decision. But Bill Maher and them were talking about Trump before this happened, saying he's the luckiest guy. And this has nothing to do with luck. It has nothing to do with luck. It has to do with that God is watching out for this man. That everybody is praying for this guy, and that he's a smart businessman. It doesn't have to do with luck. He has a business acumen that they will never, ever understand. And, you know, this reduction to $175 million, it's so funny, like, mm-hmm. it, it, it makes $175 million not sound like a lot of money, right? I mean, it's like life-changing for all of us mere mortals. It's certainly but less when, than 500, than the 480. But, I mean, they went down 300 million bucks. But CNN was on seizure watch. And yep. even now, hours and hours after this came down, they haven't been able to retool their plans for the day, and they keep showing graphics on CNN of Trump's properties in the New York area, including Mar-a-Lago they're here in Florida, as if they were going to be seized. They're not going to get and, their hands on any of his property. And uh, we had CNN on a little bit ago, and S.E. Cup came on, who's just a very strange-looking person, uh, very strange. She's she got looks. this whole Linda Carter uh, – What, old hag? No. Remember how uh, in Wonder Woman, uh, Diana walked around before she became Wonder Woman with her hair pulled back in the big glasses mm. so you wouldn't recognize her like Superman? That's the whole yeah. – not that she's Linda Carter, but that's the look she's going for mm. right now. Well, you know, what Essie Cub came on and said that uh, Trump people that she's in communication with mm. have told her that they're disappointed that this happened, that oh, they, they thought seizures would help him and they're disappointed. There is no one who is MAGA and in Trump's orbit who is talking to S.E. Cup no, at CNN. She's a liar or and, the people she's talking to have no connection And, to you know, she is a woman without a soul. And yeah. I'll tell you why. She's an atheist, S.E. Cup. Okay? She's one of these out-of-the-closet atheist people. She is – so she doesn't believe she has a soul. So she is, by her own belief, is a soulless woman, and she doesn't understand – the the this the miracle this trump miracle that is taking place and anyone out there who has any doubts in their mind that he's going to be reelected and in november become president elect in yep. january of next year be sworn into office for a second and not consecutive term you're missing this everything that's going on and i want to just go through a couple of these things um remember when he won the primaries and has won the nomination now. He has defeated the political machine of both That's of right. these parties. He um, 
took over the RNC, which means that the Republican establishment has collapsed. They are, the, the Republican establishment is no longer in charge of the Republican Party. That's why they're doing these resignations. That's all the juice they got is to resign and leave. OK, the RNC is under Trump control now. This judgment down to 175 million that was dropped 60 percent uh, from from Judge and Goron and Letitia James's judgment against him. It's been and I know there's many other things, but these are the big ones right now. It has been nothing short of miraculous. And, you know, I remember Dinesh. It is a miracle. Dinesh and people D'Souza, don't need to worry because God is in control. Dinesh D'Souza, um, a few years ago, one of his uh, first documentaries might have been a book, too, because he does the books and then documentaries. But it was one of his is is was about uh, the world without America in it. What would the world be like? If mm-hmm. there had never been a United States yeah, of America, we've talked about that too. And the 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 world, America is the oldest democracy. I know some people say no, it's Greek. The the Greeks that fell a long time ago. Okay, the United States is the oldest democracy in the world. When the founding fathers formed the United States, the entire world was governed by emperors, kings, queens, and uh, tribal chiefs. Okay. And village elders and medicine men and savages, okay? And and the world is in a democracy because of the United States. The United States saved Western civilization mm-hmm. uh, in the First and Second World War and uh, and the Cold War. And Donald Trump is saving Western civilization again, which is under a, a, attack from these evildoers. And it, it, of course, he's very brilliant. He, all, he knows what he's doing. He's broken the laws. And that's why this is so miraculous. Now, this other case, the the skanky, uh, I'm I'm sorry, I keep forgetting her name, uh, Stormy Daniels. I think skanky's more appropriate. Yeah, I I know. I know. I I know. It is, but uh, pretty good. So this case. Stormy's not even her real name. It's Stephanie or something. Yeah. yeah. This case is more absurd than even the other ones. Yeah. Bragg is trying to charge Trump with some campaign finance laws that this Oh yeah, this they, uh, yeah. money that Michael Cohen gave uh, Stormy Daniels wasn't properly reported. Through. Well, um, as the district attorney, he has no authority over uh, the campaign finance. That's, that's federal, right? So he's brought charges that that are not even within his jurisdiction. Yeah, that's going to fall apart. That too. would be like, for example, that would be like um, you know Mar a Lago's in Palm Beach County. That would be like the sheriff of Palm Beach County goes to New York County to make an arrest. He doesn't have jurisdiction there, yeah. right? He's the Palm Beach County. Sure. So he has no jurisdiction over this. He's charged Trump with something. Like Buford T. Justice driving through the country yeah. trying to get the bandit. Exactly. And all of the people in the media, including their jokes of legal analysts, know what I just shared and even more about it because they're lawyers and stuff. And they're keeping this a secret in the media, yeah. okay? I, I have heard Turley talk about it, but other than Turley, no one – because they want to keep the dream and hope alive yep. that, okay, well, you know, he, he beat us in this case. He beat us in that case. Okay, he got the he got the judgment reduced by 60%. But this Stormy Daniels one, this is the one we're going to get him on. They're, well, <laughs> they're always clinging to hope. Yeah. Uh, they're like, uh, you know, hanging on to the last lifeboat of the Titanic. Yeah. Um, you know, in the in the freezing cold water, just hanging on, waiting for the, for, for the Carpathia to come along. They're... Mm. They're really just hanging on and 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 hoping that something's going to get this guy, but nothing's going to get this guy because he's got truth on his side, and they're all liars and they're all evil. Yeah. And there's people that know they're lying and they know what they're doing. And then there's the useful idiots in the press that are just fed lies and information, and they hate Trump so much they go with it and they believe it, and they're stupid. Mm-hmm. And I think there are some people – at CNN and MSNBC and even Fox that know what they're saying is BS, but they don't want to lose their job and they yeah. don't want to, to 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 lose their home in the Hamptons and and not be invited to the dinner parties and they they, were, they won't give that up. But they're not going to report anything that makes Trump look good. No. So it's funny when something good happens for Trump, you should really put on CNN or MSNBC and see how they spin it. I mean, they really go out of their way to spin it to make it look negative like this with SE Cup, they cannot admit, well, this is a win for Trump. They will, like our thumbnail says, Trump wins again. They will never admit anything is a win for Trump. They will always spin it like, well, this is worse for him, or this is, or he's just lucky. And this is the other case that he needs to worry about. They move on. They move on. Anything good that happens to Trump, 
They ignore it. They talk about it for five minutes and then they move on. Well, what about this case? And what, so they were yeah. already talking about Stormy Daniels. They're ignoring this. They're not going to go on TV and say, this is a break for him. I mean, maybe on Fox they will, but they're not going to go on TV and say, this is good oh news God. for him. And this is a break. And they obviously overcharge this guy and blah, blah, blah. They're not going to do that so, because that's not their agenda. So when this great decision came down that it was reduced to 170. Uh. The uh, MSNBC, they brought on this guy. He used to be the assistant attorney uh, general in New York. Okay, and this is MSNBC right after. And I, I, honestly, this is so infuriating, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know if I care what the process is that um, these judges are arriving. See, this is interesting. These, these tyrants on the left, they're losing legally. So now he, they're openly admitting what we've have seen that I don't even care what the legal process is. Isn't that crazy? We should just make it up as we go because we don't like this guy Th and we're, we're going to misuse our authority and that's exactly, try to stop he him. He is this guy's enemy great. number one. Yeah. He is their main target and they are throwing everything at this guy and they're, and he's admitting it right here that they don't even care about the legal process. Yeah, and this, but luckily we live in a country where they just can't throw him in jail for no reason. And this they guy, can't do that as much as they'd want to. This guy's name is Tristan Shell, the um um or Snell. Tristan Tristan who, who names their kid Tristan? Well there was Tristan from General Hospital. Yeah, but he's Tristan he, he, Rogers. Yeah, but he's like not American. I'm talking about an American Tristan Sh Snell, former very hard name to say, huh? Former uh uh Assistant Attorney General of New York. I mean, play he's more upset. of it. Oh, he's very upset. I don't care what the law is. Louis just still go That's after That's insane. Him. And I, I, honestly, this is so infuriating. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know if I care what the process is that these judges are arriving at. Whatever it is, it's flawed. I can tell you that much. I mean, da David put it well. It's this is a different process for for, for this person. We have oh decided gosh. that he gets his own private court of justice. He has a private plane. He has a he has private clubs that he lives in. You know, apparently, you know, he he basically fashioned himself his own private militia to try to take over the capital. What is he talking? You know, about? now he's getting uh, his own private system of justice. This is an absolute travesty. It would not happen <laughs> for anybody else. Anybody else, it would be like, sorry, buddy, you lost. Pay up. For him, he gets his own set of rules. The travesty is that they charged Legally, him in the first place. Tristan, how is that done? Oh my god. We just saw it. They just decided that they just, you know, the appellate court has now just decided they're going to swoop in and just change it. Well, that, that's what an appellate court does. You go Obviously, to the, they you, realize you he to, was overcharged. You, you go to the appellate court. They look at a lower that's court's ruling. Works. And if the lower court ruling is wrong, they, they make a change. That's what that's appellate courts are for. The, he, see, they cannot admit that the first judge way was overcharged. A they shouldn't be charging him anything, first of all. This is all based on a complete fabricated yeah. story to begin with. But they way overcharged him, and they saw that, and they appealed it. That is the process, mm -hmm. okay? This is beautiful. That is the legal system that many people use that, you know, mm -hmm. that's the way it works in this country. Sorry, buddy. And it protects people, yep. and that's the way it is. And it protects people like Trump, and it protects. it's supposed to protect all of us. Mm -hmm. And that— you know, is a good thing that happened. Uh, I'm sure Trump woke up today and and was very very happy. Absolutely, with that decision. Who wouldn't be? You oh, know, yeah. and and I mean, I'll tell you, lot, sixty you know, percent of see, that. Bill. When, I, when I was talking at the beginning of the segment about how Trump is saving our civilization, I, I don't say that lightly. You know, with the this to, there, this entire move that mm -hmm. they're doing, they're moving South America. Into North America, yeah, right? Yeah, basically what they're doing. And well, they're I, I, and just in China too. You know, they're moving Chinese people yeah. here, and they're moving the worst of the worst, right? They're moving all the criminals from South America into the United States of America. They're trying to transform our country into something else. That's right. You look at the what's going on with the United States and Israel right now. The United States, for the first time, is in major, major policy conflict with Israel, which is unheard of. They've been one of our closest allies. And uh, it, that and it, it's it, because of the tone that's being set by the people that are running the country. And we, if if Trump does not come back in November, Western civilization will be c collapsing. What's happening now? If it see if Biden were to win re-election, the Democrats would take that as a mandate that their way is what the people want, and they're going to if it makes them 
it gives them a license to do it is, is what I mean. And you come back four years after that, this country will not be here this, in the form in which we know it. And if America is not here, the rest of the, the rest of the civilized world collapses, Canada, Europe, Asia, the, the civilized free parts of the world will collapse without mm-hmm. the United States. And what, what it is, it's really, it'd be like the last days of Rome with the barbarian hordes, right? That's coming into Rome. That's what's happening here with, with Latin America. And everybody sees this. Everyone knows this. I watched President Trump's press conference today when he came out of the, out of the courtroom. And he says, these are Biden cases. These are Biden charges. Yeah, they are. And, you know, I know Biden's checked out, but I think he has moments when he's with it. He has good days and bad days. Um, and we heard him make jokes about this uh, judgment. I'd like to hear his joke today that it's been reduced by 60%. The fact that he's joking about it tells me that he's very involved Absolutely. with this. And Trump had said today in his press conference that Hillary's ex-lawyer quit his job to work for the New York DA pro bono. What the hell yeah. does that tell you? That Hillary's involved. Exactly. She's involved in this too. She's a lawyer. You don't think she's sitting there reading over these documents and trying to influence this? Exactly, Kathy. She's a very exactly. bitter, angry, unhappy woman, and she would like nothing. She was humiliated by Trump globally. She would like nothing better than to see this man destroyed. And it's just amazing to me. I just, I know there's people that don't like Trump because- he messes up their corrupt deals, but it goes beyond that. Yeah. There are people, and I do not understand it because everybody that meets Trump says he's a nice guy and he's a wonderful guy. I don't understand these people, especially people that have worked for him. And maybe they're being paid off or whatever. I don't know. They have their own motivation. They want to get on like Ron McDaniel on NBC or whatever and make money. But there is so much, I tell you, I have never seen anybody more targeted no. by so many people um, ever just have so many arrows thrown at, at, at them one after the other and have so much hatred. I wonder what how he sees this Trump. He obviously has a very supportive and wonderful family. He obviously doesn't let it get to him. Um, he's just a special kind of guy. Like mm-hmm. He has just got the thickest skin I've ever seen. Yeah. I don't think he's ever had a moment where he's broken down or been like, I can't do this. I think it's just the opposite. I think he's the kind of guy that the more you go after him, the more determined and tougher he becomes. You know what I mean? Like when I saw him today and you've seen him, and this is a tough son of a bitch. I mean, he's the toughest guy I've ever seen. And he has faith and he knows everything's going to be fine. He knows it's corrupt. He's got the love of the people that give him, he has said this, that the love of the people is what encourages him. It is so important for us to pray for him daily. Their prayers are being answered, guys. They're being answered. And to show up when he has a rally, if he has a rally near you, go. Yeah. Go to that rally. Even if you've seen him already three or four times, it doesn't matter. This is his last campaign, his last time running. Yep. And we need to be out there in droves and, and show up and have bigger crowds than ever and, and make sure you go and vote. No excuses. Don't think that your vote doesn't count. I mean, this is it. We have to back him. And it's the love of those people. When he goes to a rally, if he ever does feel down or a little defeated, he goes to a rally and he sees the thousands of people there wearing MAGA hats, cheering his name, God bless you. God bless America. This is what he's, this is what keeps him going. He's doing it for us. He has said that many times. He is putting up with so much. Oh, yeah. His family is putting up with so much. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need this BS. And, you know, he's doing it for the country. He's doing it to save. He knows how corrupt it is. I was trying to figure out, like, uh, or not figure out, I was trying to come up with, like, a, a comparison to the shock of the media today to this decision on the judgment. And the closest I can come to is Kim Kardashian's father, mm. Robert Kardashian, the expression on his face when the yes. OJ not guilty verdict <laughs> came was, in. I was just thinking the same thing. That's that kind of good. That's kind of how they are there. Yeah. He was gobsmacked. You know, th- there's, there's those stages of grief and you got that, that acceptance. They, th- it hasn't even hit them yet that what's happened. And over the next 24 hours, the meltdowns are going to get worse on TV. 
you know, they've always had, I love it. ever since he came down the escalator, they've always have a scheme and this is the scheme that's going to stop him. And they, it always fails. And, you know, even Trump was saying in his, in, in some of these rallies for the primary, he says, if they just would have left me alone, he said, I'd be on my way to retirement right now. Exactly. My second term, but Believe I'm coming me, back. Believe me, I think they've said that in their no. private moments. Nope. Nope. Yes, I think some of them nope. have. No, I, I think no some of them have said, you know no what? Way. If the guy would have been president, we'd be done with him there's, next year. No, I don't think there's so. No, there's sick. some people that that realize they're that, so sick. Me. Now, I want to tell you guys the, uh, a couple things here. One, the free shipping with our promo code Kane K A N E continues at mypillow.com site wide. Okay, and uh, you know when you put the pro- uh the promo code N K A N E when you're you know checking out, and you'll see. Free shipping come up when you go and you put in your address and everything else. It's free standard shipping, all right? And I just checked it right before the podcast again, and this will end without notice. I don't know when. It's just one morning I'm going to go to the uh, MyPillow.com website, and the free shipping is just going to be gone. But it's there now. And uh, that no matter how large, no matter how small, no matter how heavy, no matter how light the order, and there's a lot of uh, great specials there going on on top of this. Now, again, this is with our promo code Kane at checkout, K-A-N-E. All the sheets – uh, huge sales on all the sheets, the uh, flannel, the Giza, and the Percal sheets. Now, Kathy percale. and I, percale. Percale, it's Percale. Yes. The sheets are amazing. All the now, sheets are incredible. We we have on um, our bedroom, in our master bedroom, we have the Giza dream sheets. And in our guest room, I, I told you, Kathy, I said, order a set of those Percale sheets because Mike Lindell is always talking about how great yes. they are. And I want to have on the guest bed. And you were under the weather a few weeks ago, and I slept a couple of nights. In the guest room, and the percale sheets are on there. They're spectacular. Yep. I don't. I don't. Know. Everything he makes is. Wonderful. I don't know what the what that means. Percale sheets. I don't know what that means. It's a type of cotton. I think it's just woven more tightly, a little mm-hmm. more tightly. I think. I, I have no idea. But, but his they're sheets great. are amazing. They're great. They're soft. And we have one. We have like one set of sheets. So the first set I bought, they're white. The percale? No, the regular. Oh. The the cotton. Uh, the the Egyptian. What? Oh, the Giza, Giza dream sheets. We have like six sets. The of first those. set we got. I actually have on our bed right now, mm-hmm. and uh, they're like two or three years ago, and they're just like, I mean, they're just as good as when we got them. Like the day they they they're arrived. So they're a th- you know you could tell the sheet is a little thicker. Yeah. Than your normal. Sheet. It's got a. It's more weighty to it, but it's not heavy. You can tell yeah. it is better. It's 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 all in the thread count, and you can tell it's a higher quality. My favorite thing he makes. Is that, well, the sheets and the towels are incredible. Oh yeah, we they sent are. Emily towels when she moved into her new place. Yeah, the huge discount on those. They as well. are really, to me, the best thing you can get is somebody for somebody is something from my pillow and have it sent directly to their home. If there's a birthday, and if you got somebody, June is coming up, you got wedding season. If you're going to a bridal shower, let me tell you, get them something from my pillow uh, at the bridal shower for their new home mm-hmm. or as a wedding gift, get them something, a my pillow gift card or something like that, or the 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 mattress topper. That is something they'll use for years and years and years and years. Don't get them a toaster and they'll have 20 toasters or some, get them something that actually will use. Every day, yeah. What the the ones we I don't know how old the uh, Giza sheets are. We have on our bed here, but we bought these when they first came out. I so think three years, three years, maybe four longer. Years. Yeah, whenever the they came out and they, they do look like new. So it's promo code Kane at checkout. K A N E free shipping, and you get the special deals too. We'll be right back. Are you tired of bland meals? Say goodbye to those tasteless, boring dinners and hello to flavor with Right on Time All-Purpose Seasoning. Right on Time Seasoning is made with a blend of savory dried herbs and spices. This seasoning is perfect for chicken, steak, seafood, vegetables, and more. Right on Time was born in 2019 out of a passion for flavor and convenience. This seasoning is not only delicious, but it's also low in sodium with no added sugar and zero calories. Right on Time will add a burst of flavor to each and every dish. Whether you're cooking for yourself or your family, Right on Time Seasoning will make your taste buds dance with delight. Available at walmart.com and rightontime.com. That's R-I-T-E on T-H-Y-M-E. Also, follow them on TikTok and Facebook at right.on.time. There you'll find recipe ideas, cooking tips, and more. Right on Time Seasoning. Flavor you can see and smell at walmart.com and rightontime.com. 
Are you searching for that perfect piece to add character and charm to your home? You can turn your living space into an art gallery with Northshire Wall Decor on Etsy.com. Northshire Wall Decor is your go-to destination for beautiful, unique wall art. Whether you're looking to spruce up your living room, bedroom, or office space, Northshire Wall Decor has something for everyone. From captivating metal wall sculptures to elegant geometric designs, their collection offers a variety of styles to suit every taste and every decor. Each piece is carefully crafted with precision and attention to detail, ensuring that you receive nothing but the highest quality art for your space. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, a minimalist, or a lover of modern art, Northshire Wall Decor has something that speaks to you. And make sure to check out their amazing collection of wood-burning stoves with oven. These are unique and will be a conversation piece in your home. They also have epoxy tables and coffee tables. Elevate your decor right now with a stunning piece from Northshire Wall Decor. In business for over seven years. Visit their Etsy shop right now. Etsy.com slash shop slash Northshire Wall Decor. Etsy.com slash shop slash Northshire Wall Decor. Explore their full collection and find the perfect piece to transform your space. You'll also find great gifts too. Etsy.com slash shop slash Northshire Wall Decor. Are you ready to enter a world of creativity and inspiration? Then visit MeowMotionStudio.store on Etsy. Meow Motion Studio was founded by Emily and her beloved cat. She's an incredible artist. And despite facing the challenges of being paralyzed, Emily's creative spirit knows no bounds. Along with her beloved cat Clementine by her side, Emily brings you a unique collection of digital art and accessories that are sure to captivate your heart. From beautiful cat designs to clothing and accessories and Inspired by Jesus, there's something for everyone in Emily's store. Explore the Jesus collection. It features t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies for both men and women. In the Divine Treasures section, you'll find notebooks, coffee cups, art, and more. And for you parents, they have something for the little ones, too. The Meow Baby Collection features adorable fluffy orange cat baby blankets and baby bodysuits. Step into perfection with Meow Motion Studio, offering cat-themed sneakers and joggers for women. With Meow Motion Studio, the possibility Abilities are endless. Visit the store right now online at meowmotionstudio.store and discover the magic for yourself. You won't be disappointed. You'll find great gifts too. Meowmotionstudio.store. You are listening to the Brian Craig Show podcast, broadcasting from sunny South Florida. Brian is joined by his wife and co host, Kathy. Follow Brian on social media at briancraigshow.com. And now, Brian and Kathy. President Trump posted this on True Social today. And I, I uh, took a screenshot and put it on my Twitter. Uh, Brian Craig Show is my Twitter. Listen to this. President Trump, he wrote this, received this morning, beautiful thank you. And then he has this, the rest is a quote that somebody sent him that he posted on True Social. Okay, listen to this. It's ironic that Christ walked through his greatest persecution the very week they are trying to steal your property from you. Mm, Yeah, holy week. But have you seen this verse? Psalm 109, 3 through 8. Um, This is from the, uh, let's see here. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without cause in return for my love, they are my accusers. I mean, you know, it, w- the whole country of sane people mm-hmm. see this for what it is. And, it's a and, persecution and, and, a, a total, of an innocent man. Yeah. And th- which this, happened to Jesus. I'm not trying, I'm not saying Trump is Jesus. Don't get me wrong. But Jesus was an innocent man too. And yesterday was Palm Sunday. Yeah. And that's, when we celebrate when Jesus willingly went to Jerusalem on a, on a donkey and willingly went into the city, knowing he was going to get killed. He willingly went, he didn't want to do it. He even asked God to take that away from him at one point and was terrified, but he did it willingly because it was God's will. And he, he, all these people went after him for no reason because they saw him as a threat, which he was not. And they were terrified. But you know what? Look what happened. Jesus died. He rose. I'm not comparing Trump to him, but all good came out of that. We have the church. We have, we have salvation um, because Jesus died. Trump, good things are going to come out of this. And I think Trump, like I said, I've said many times, he has a very strong faith. I don't think people realize. 
And I think that has a lot to do with his wife. She's very religious. And uh, I think they probably pray all the time. And I think he really feels the the love and the prayers that that people are doing. I think he feels oh, no it. Doubt. I think he really feels at peace and he feels that strength behind him. And I think that that's, that's he's, what really he, gives he, him confidence. I keep telling you guys, he is, he's being persecuted. He's a Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela like figure. Yeah. And when he had his press conference today outside the courtroom, it was, it, it was great. But what, one of the things he said, and you know, Letitia James is flipping out. He said, you know, she ran for gov, uh, tried to run for governor against the, the, this governor. And she, Got like two, three percent, and she dropped out. There's no way she's not humiliated. This is a whole campaign thing. And this montage, I want to play this montage. It's of Letitia James, is circulating all over um, yeah. social and media. Before today. you do that, uh, Jonathan Torley, this is on Twitter. He said, This has done great damage to the New York legal oh, system. Yeah. And like uh, Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank, Kevin O'Leary, he's always on QVC too, he's on Fox all the time. He supports Trump. He said, I'm pulling all my businesses out of New York. And he said, I know a lot of people, though. First of all, New York has turned into a third world country with all the illegals, the crime. And now this, it's a banana well, republic you know, a there. Lot of, I mean, um, New York has gone insane. A lot People that have money with the, you know, in New York, you have um, state income tax, you have city income tax on top of the federal income tax. And it, it's not a friendly place if you got money. Now, let me, now. now, this is uh, a montage of Letitia James, and it just shows you where her head is. He's called me venomous. We will fight back to your attempt to bring Trumpism to New York City. He's called me disgraceful. Oh, he said that they stole the Supreme Court seat. called me radical. Listen, yes. we know he's crazy. Yes. We know he doesn't have a sound mind. Yes. We know he's out of control. Yes. We know he's losing it. Yes. We know his days are numbered and we will come together. He's called me a racist. We've got to stand up to an, an administration which is too male, too pale, and too stale. Okay, now the stale thing <laughs> was just in there because uh, for the rhyme. Does it rhyme? Do you think? But too pale—that means too white. Mm -hmm. I mean, how racist does it get? Now this thing with Letitia James—you know, this is a big defeat with her. Her entire political campaign and life has centered around this, and she has lost. And by the, the way, the, it's being uh, reported that Trump is going to pay his bond. He said in cash. Yeah. And in cash. the the appeals court ruling in Trump's favor today, that that's a major sign that they're going to rule completely in his favor when it's over, that the that the fine was just too outrageous, too heavy and everything else. And he's going to win the whole thing. Yep. And she is going to be humiliated just like um, Fannie Willis. OK, Fannie Willis, she she's still going on. Yep. But Fannie Willis is in the end also going to end up disgraced. And what, what's happened, if you, if you notice with these, these people that they've picked to do this, Letitia James and uh, Fannie Willis, these are, are, are people that are mediocre nobodies who have dreams of being very important, like Letitia yes. wants to be governor or attorney general of the United States. Fannie wants to be governor or something higher. So they're doing these things to elevate themselves because they're power hungry and they didn't think long term and they're losing. And and when you're dealing with these evil people that they're working for, the forces against Trump, once they fail, they're useless to them. They're not going anywhere other than being permanently disgraced. And um, Fannie Willis is going to spend the rest of her life when that's all over telling people that, oh, I was right. I, I'm not ashamed. She's going to spend all her life is going to be talking about Trump. Letitia James. Yep. When uh, this is over, she's so unpopular in New York right now. There's been such a demographic change since she was elected in all of this in New York. Mm -hmm. And things are so bad in New York now. 
she's going to go down in disgrace and be a forgotten woman too. These yeah. these people have destroyed their their careers over their Trump hatred. Well, and in fact, Kevin O'Leary also just said uh, it's on. I just retweeted it that even foreign investors yeah. are questioning whether they want to invest in New York now because you know they see what's happening with the judicial system. That would make anybody scared. You know, plus, like I mentioned, everything else going on. New York is like uh, it's like Haiti up there now. I yeah, mean, really, it's 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 a mess. But you know, the it's thing mess. the thing though about the um the the system, what Charlie said, I don't know if that's true. You know, you got you you've got a corrupt judge and corrupt attorney general, but the system's working. The appellate court shows that the system's working. Yes. and what what will happen well, if the system really worked, he wouldn't have been charged. No, no, no. In the first but you, when you have Bad cops and corruption, you know, it's like you hear these stories of people that have been in jail for 25 years and they find out that, that you know, a cop lied or some some prosecutor withheld evidence or, or, or something. And they're in there, you know, there. But when when you see the appeals court come in favor of Trump, it shows you that the system is working and that it has not failed us. And what will happen when this is over and Trump wins and he's back in office? That judge in Goron, he he likely could face um, disbarment, removal from the bench, and he may even, when they start looking into him, he may even face some criminal charges. We'll see what happens. I mean, the tide is definitely turning. I wanted to play, this is all over Twitter now, I wanted to play this quick clip. A reporter asked Trump how he will post bond, so listen. He said, what's your collateral? He said, cash. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's so <laughs> He doesn't bizarre. need anybody. It hasn't He's just going to pay cash. Like, like the Drudge Report, their headline is, it's President Trump. And they always try to find, you know, the worst. They, they, they take nonstop pictures. And then when he moves his head or something or yawns, that's the picture in the papers. And the, the Drudge Report, 10 days to come up with $175 million. Um, he, he said Friday, he's got half a billion. Yeah, That's not a problem. It, you know, he's got the money in his back pocket, the 175 million They're And they're trying to still spin it. Like he's broke and he's poor and he doesn't have the money. And if he has the money, why doesn't he just pay it? Why should he? Well, I want to talk about something you said to me over the weekend that, uh, scared me a little bit. Well, you know, I don't, I, I know everything's going to work out, but with these people resigning from the house, or the, which one do we have the majority in? The House. The House. And another guy resigned from the Republican Party, and you said that they're, they want to take over the House before the election. They have the Senate and the presidency, and they're going to try to keep Trump from winning. Uh, you said they're going to um, – how'd you explain it to me? That this is their plan. Well, now. Emerald Robinson had tweeted this over right. the weekend that you know there's another resignation coming. It just it was just announced for one of the Republicans in the House. Yeah, this is a scheme and they're doing. He's not leaving until the middle of April. If he would have left in the beginning of April, because of the time before no, the November election, it, there would be an automatic special election to fill the seat. Yeah, that's since on he's since he's waiting towards the middle or end of April, it's so close to November there won't be yeah. a spe- so it'll be an empty seat. And right. she says that there's word that there's going to be other Republican resignations, oh and that they the the establishment have this scheme to give the Democrats control of the House. And then if they, and Hakeem Jeffries would be speaker. And even if they have a one seat majority, they won't be like our wimpy Democrats. Well, we only have a five seat majority, so we can't, they'll do everything with one majority. And they want to make some changes to the 14th Amendment to stop Trump from being on the ballot in November. Well, and they'll get some Republicans to do it too. Oh yeah. To go along with that. Absolutely. But- that tells me that that's their that's their plan too. They're never going to give up. And I I told you guys, you know, because uh, a lot of people get so worried. This these things with Trump, I might get upset sometimes, but I really don't worry about it because he never seems worried. He seems to have everything under control. Yes, and um, he's the one that's got everything on the line. And if I saw Trump worried, I'd I'd worry. Well, you went to Mar-a-Lago, and the news wants you to think. Because they have a handful of people that worked for Trump that have turned on him. Yeah. They want you to think that everybody has turned on Trump. But you went to Mar-a-Lago for a fundraiser, and you told me that there were hundreds of people there, if not a couple thousand, that were very wealthy and that all were very supportive of Trump. These are people you don't hear about in the news. 
These are people with big money, billions, billionaires, millionaires that love Trump. They stay under the radar. They support Trump. So he has a lot of support that we don't see. The media is not going to tell you any of that. They're, they don't want to give the impression that Trump has people supporting him at all. They want to. They want you to think that even his own kids have turned on you know, him. And one of the, I mean, they're just such lying scum. One of the things Trump said today that really flip, is flipping out the the left is he said it's an it'll be an honor to post the hundred and seventy five million dollar bond. Yeah. And like I, I was before this announcement came today, he has a whole when, positive perspective. W- when I got off the air today, I was listening to CNN in the car because you know we had the countdown to this happens because nine o'clock the courts open. And the, the decision hadn't come out yet. And on CNN, they were saying this guy, he's, he's too embarrassed to ask people for money. So he's asking to borrow money from third, from friends and all this stuff through friends. So because, it, you know, if you know, he won't do a press conference on the, at an airport unless his plane's behind it. Well, why else would he be at an airport unless his plane was there? You know, and he's all about image and, the, and, he's, and he has no financial problems. And this, they, were ta- they, they did this whole 20 minute, thing about how humiliated he was and take how, how humiliating it would be to take his property away or admit that he had to borrow money. Well, then and, none of that's going to happen. And it, it shows you how sick they are because he said he had the money, 500 million on Friday, and they didn't even allow that yeah. truth post to enter into their thinking. Because Brian, they lie to themselves. Yeah. They live in their own fantasy. They spend their weekends in the Hamptons and all they talk about is Trump. And they just, it's, it's, it's just, you know, they just sit around and tell each other the same BS and they believe it. And then they come back on Monday, all hopped up and they don't even listen to the reality of the situation. They, they, they have a fantasy. And today the fantasy was that Letitia James would come out, have a big press conference and say, we're going down to Trump tower and I'm putting a lock on that door. It belongs to the city now Mm -hmm. that never happened or that he would be begging people to borrow money from. Nope. That got put down, and he's like, I'm proud to pay it. Boom. No problem. I'm going to be paying in cash. Yeah. Screw all of you. Yeah. You know, um, when I went to vote, I voted early here in Florida during the primary. And um, I, made a, I made a YouTube video, and you, some of you guys may have seen it. And uh, the poll worker tried to run me off. You know, I, I'm a journalist. I'm a, I'm a member of the media, and I'm a journalist. And when I go somewhere and make a YouTube video, I'm a I'm a a reporter. Okay. Uh, and that's, a, and, sh- and I'm, I just made that video and I post posted online, you know, it has over 200,000 views on this video of me uh, going to vote uh, for Trump in the Florida primary. And uh, I was surprised that, <laughs> that so many people would be interested in that. I didn't know what was going to happen, but if you don't already uh, make sure that you follow me on YouTube, you know, uh, in the mornings when I'm on the radio, I live stream on YouTube. Of course I upload our podcast to YouTube. And I do uh, a lot of vlogging on YouTube. It's Brian Craig Show on YouTube. And if you're not a part of that community, uh, you're really missing out because um, both on the uh, in the radio show in the morning and the podcast, w- we have a live chat that's going on all the time. And uh, even in, with the uh, podcast, which we you know upload in the afternoons, it uh, has a live chat in there, and people are chatting, and it's a great community. It's a very active community. And uh, you could be a part of it. So just Brian Craig show on YouTube. You know, the, the, the way, though, that all this is going down, they're always going to have lawsuits and court cases against Trump. As long as there's Democrats that are judges or district attorneys or prosecutors or state's attorneys or this or that, there's always going to be a case against Trump. There's always going to be an investigation. They're, they're never going to leave him alone. Liberals are tyrants. They're twisted. They're incredibly angry all the time. They think that they're, it's their way or no way. And they, and they think we're the ones that want fascism and a dictatorship. You know, they, what, what they're really saying here, and it's, it's really sad, is the majority of the uh, voting public are behind Donald Trump. We mm-hmm. can't beat him. We know better than the American people. So we're going to find a way to stop them from having that Brian, opportunity to they, vote for these him. These are evil people and evil. It talks about this in the Bible. Evil people are blinded to the truth. Okay. Jesus says that himself that because pe- Jesus spoke in parables 
And he said to the apostles, people that do not have the Holy Spirit in them will not understand what I'm telling you. They will not understand the truth. Yeah. And they, the truth is not revealed. They live in darkness. They don't live in the light. They don't know the truth. They're not privy to the truth. And they will never know the truth as long as they live in, the, in that liberal, atheistic world view. And that's how they see the world. And that's how they're going to see Trump. And they don't believe the truth. The truth could be right in front of them. Yeah. Right in front of them. Yeah. Evidence. And they'll just look at it and lie to themselves and say, that's not true. Yeah. I don't believe it. I mean, that's how they are. So they're just not going to understand it. They're never going to see it. Some people, though, thank goodness, are, are getting red-pilled and seeing what's really going on. And they're waking up. And, and they're the mainly voters. Yeah. And they're seeing what's happening. And Trump sees that. He does the internal polling. He knows that he even said, you know, let him come after me. It's making me more popular because the people are seeing what's going on. They see what's happening. It's waking, it's opening their eyes to see what's happening. And he sees that. So he's, he's, that's why he said, I'm proud to pay this because he knows that this is only going to help him and it's only going to shine a light on what's going on. This is shining a huge light on the corruption that's happening. And he's just the vessel that that's being used to shine a light on this. God mm -hmm. is shining a light on the corruption in this country and he's using Trump to do that. What do you think about now? They keep asking about Rubio being VP. He said it would be an honor uh, to be chosen as the VP. So he would clearly do it. Um, I know you keep talking about they, they're both Florida residents. Well, why do they keep talking about on the news about these Florida guys becoming vice president? I don't know. Maybe maybe they figure it's a way that uh, they can stop Trump from getting the electoral college votes like I keep telling everybody. Uh, there, but uh, that is – I didn't just make that up. They can – Yeah, but you're the only one who says it. That's no. That's why I don't understand. No, no everybody I'm not on the, the only news, one. Nobody has ever mentioned that well, as an Well, the news – the television nobody. news um, – you cannot have the president and vice president from the same state and get the electoral college votes from that state. The electors. I'm sure Trump must know that. Yeah. The electors have to vote for president and vice president. They can't vote for two people from the same state. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the law. Dick Morris says that, and he works for Trump. Yeah, I'm sure okay? Trump knows. So, no, so, you know, I, I don't know why I, I, the media keep talking to Marco Rubio and Byron Donalds and all these people about it. It just can't happen unless uh, – now, this is something that would not be surprise, surprising, okay? Um, members of Congress do not – and the Senate is part of the Congress, liberals. Member – for Rubio. Members of Congress do not have to live in the state that they represent. So uh, – some Marco Rubio has a house in Miami, but maybe his legal residence is D.C. Could be Virginia, exactly. Virginia, it could be. So there it you could go. be. Yes, Byron Donald Same thing. could have a res his 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 official residence okay. could be at his. So house that already. that probably it is, is what's going. That on. is possible. Okay, that All is right. possible. You do not have to be a resident of the state that you represent. Okay. Well, okay. then that's probably Congress makes the laws and they make it. the laws to benefit them. We'll take a quick break and be back. From award-winning and internationally published author, Lucia Catherine, comes a story of grief and resilience when the rain came. And when the rain came, after witnessing the brutal murder of her parents, a traumatized teenager is forced to deal with the shadows of her past and embarks on a quest for closure. She uncovers dark secrets that challenge her understanding of who she really is. Join her journey of self-discovery and justice as she unravels dark secrets and confronts unspeakable tragedy and experience the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable loss when the rain came. From author Lucia Catherine is available on Amazon and the author's website, luciacatherine.com. Order your copy right now. Are you in need of a little encouragement? Are you searching for a spark of intrigue? Could you use a good laugh? Then check out Genesis-Revelation.life. Genesis-Revelation.life is your go-to destination for unique and heartfelt designs that resonate with your spirit. Picture this. Thousands of meticulously crafted items, each one with a personal touch. From the whimsical to the profound, the designs at Genesis-Revelation.life cover a wide spectrum, ensuring there's something for everyone. Whether you're drawn to the warmth of scripture, 
order or prefer non-scripture items, they've got you covered. T-shirts, leggings, totes, headbands, crossbody bags, blankets, journals, napkins, aprons, coasters, drinkware, and that's just the beginning. But what sets Genesis-Revelation.life apart from the rest is simple. A sprinkle of humor, a dash of intrigue, and a layer of comfort. Each design tells a story, seeking to connect with you on a deeper level. In a world that often feels impersonal, Genesis-Revelation.life stands out as a place where every item is designed with heart and soul. Tell your story with these unique designs. Shop now and let your spirit shine. And make sure to share the store on all your social media so your friends can discover Genesis-Revelation.life too. Genesis-Revelation.life, where every design is a connection waiting to happen. Start shopping right now. Genesis-Revelation.life. From author G.E. Yuki comes an epic journey into the heart of darkness in the book Far Corley, Part 1, available on Amazon in the rural backwater of Voltus County. Mary Elise discovers the terrible secrets hidden within the house of Simeon. As the shadows close in and the land descends into chaos, Mary Elise finds herself thrust into an impossible quest to save the world from cosmic horror. Far Corley, Part 1, is filled with elements of detective fiction, youthful romance, romance, dark conspiracies, and combat, this must-read book promises an adventure like no other. It's set in a world reminiscent of Renaissance France with echoes of Mongolian culture. It also features strong female characters who defy expectations and pass the Bechdel test. Order your copy of Part 1 of this three-part thrilling series, Far Corley, Part 1, from author G.E. Yuki, available on Amazon in Kindle, paperback, hardcover, and Kindle Unlimited. Did. Men, are you tired of looking tired? You can turn your tired eyes into a vibrant and refreshed look with a specially formulated under eye cream for men at Amazon.com slash shops slash Meditati. That's M-E-D-I-T-A-T-I. This anti-aging formula is designed to repair and protect your eyes against the common signs of aging. Dark circles, puffiness, and those pesky crow's feet gone. With Meditati, you'll say goodbye to those tired eyes and hello to a youthful appearance. It's packed with peptides, vitamins, C, jojoba oil, green tea, CoQ10, and other essential ingredients. This formula will keep your under eyes bright and refreshed. It also keeps your skin hydrated with the highest quality natural and organic ingredients. It's crafted by skin care experts and this non-greasy, lightweight formula absorbs quickly and efficiently nourishing the skin around your eyes. So if you're tired of puffiness and wrinkles, go right now to Amazon.com slash shops slash Meditati. That's M-E-D-I-T-A-T-I. Don't miss out on this chance to give your eyes the care they deserve because you and your eyes deserve it. Amazon.com slash shops slash Meditati. You are listening to the Brian Craig Show podcast, broadcasting from sunny South Florida. Brian is joined by his wife and co-host, Kathy. Follow Brian on social media at BrianCraigShow.com. And now, Brian and Kathy. Now, this is huge. And of course, it's getting zero airplay. But Joe Rogan said he's going to vote for Trump. And, you know, Joe Rogan... I want you guys to think about, about this, okay? Because I, I don't listen to Joe Rogan, all right? If sometimes on YouTube, I'll see that he's done an interview with someone I'm interested in. So I'll watch the interview and, you know, so he, he, Joe Rogan doesn't really have a lot of influence in my life. But Joe Rogan's influ, influence is massive. Joe Rogan's weekly listenership is greater than what Howard Stern and Rush Limbaugh's listenership was at their peaks combined. Does that make sense? So you you take Rush Limbaugh, who was the greatest, right? And you take Howard Stern. Mm-hmm. If you take their weekly listenership at their peak and combine them, Joe Rogan has more listeners each week than they have. Why do you think that is? Because it's online. It's available everywhere. You know, um, people can listen on their Howard phone. Stern, they can download at any time. Ha- yeah, Howard Stern wasn't in every market in every in the world. Does a, he do a, a show rush. every day? No, three or four times a week. Okay, and um, I mean that, it, and the people that he's reaching. See, like um, Rush was um, reaching mostly conservatives, some liberals. Right. But people that were interested in news and politics, okay? So those, you know, he's reaching... Uh, Howard Stern's a little different, but he's reaching 
Joe Rogan, people that don't necessarily follow politics, which are those undecided yeah. middle of the road people. So, I mean, his his size and influence is pretty pretty sizable, you know. And these stories that you hear uh, about this and about that, when something big like that happens, if Joe Rogan came out and mm-hmm. said he was voting for Biden, it'd be all over the place. But because he said he's voting for Trump, they don't right. want it in the news. Well, they don't. It doesn't matter if it's in the news because his fourteen point five million people will hear it, and we talk about it. Other people talk about it. Believe me, uh, people are going to know. And I, you know, I don't really vote based on, you know, what other people. I've I've always voted Republican. No, I agree. I've always voted Republican. I agree. Yeah. Um, since I was eighteen, I voted for George Bush, and you know that's the way it's been. But uh, I don't vote based on what other people vote, and I don't think many people do. But I think what happens is if you are undecided and somebody and you like Joe Rogan, you might think, well, that's interesting. Let me think about that. Yeah. Let me, let me talk about that. Maybe, maybe that's something I should consider. Let me hear what he has to say about it. Um, that's where it kind of can make a difference. You know, um, and he, I've, I've heard clips of him and he gives, he, he gets it. He knows what's going on and he understands what's happening. And he's, he talks about it freely, which is wonderful. He, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. I mean, you know, if you, if you listen to him, like, you know, I'm, I don't listen to his show, but I've seen clips and he doesn't seem to be afraid to put things out there and say what needs to be said. You know what I mean? Well, it took him long enough. Um, also, this, well, because he this, has a lot of power now, yeah, he's not this, as afraid. Um, he's got a huge audience. Yeah. So he's like, screw him. I'm going to say whatever the hell the, I want. This story that everyone, including us, was talking about on Friday has just totally fizzled. Candace Owens leaving the Daily Wire. It's like, you know, Candace Owens, she timed this wrong. So she announced, you know, it comes out. She's fired from the Daily Wire. Yeah, it seems like nobody cares. Then Kate Middleton announces her cancer yeah, diagnosis. Right, so that's been all over the A news. lot of the tabloid media that would normally carry this Candace Owens thing are carrying that. And then this thing with Trump. Yep. So Candace Owens didn't get a publicity bump. Not at all. Uh, from this. And it, it's, it's an interesting. I remember I told you guys on Friday's show when it was first announced she was going to the Daily Wire a few years, whenever that was, a couple years ago, I said, it's a very bad decision for her long term. She's very, one of the most influential women in America, and they're hiring her so that she's not so influential. Now, after she's been there a couple of years, it's almost like people don't care about Candace Owens anymore. She'll get it back because she's very good at trolling people, and I think what she's going She'll to do, do something. Yeah. is she is going to try to somehow get back in Trump's good graces, and for now, because that's what's would help her. And uh, maybe somehow try to get in with campaigning with him. You know, I'll help you with the black vote, Brexit, blah, blah, blah. And I think she's trying to do that now. Um, Let me interview you. Maybe she's trying to, you know what I'm saying? Kind of doing those kinds of things, which would be smart for her to do. Candace Owens said she's going to take a couple weeks off to get organized, right? Because, you know. Come up with a game plan. All of her platforms and everything are under the control of the Daily Wire. So she's got to get control. She's got to get something set up. And she may. What she may be doing is try to do kind of like what Tucker's doing, come back with some massive interviews like with Trump or whoever else and try to do something big when she well, comes back. Well, and figure out what she can do legally. That's it, probably part of it, too. You know, I got a lot of feedback from our show about Candace Owens. The way she talked about Trump was really, really bad. I mean, it was one mm-hmm. of the worst things I that um, someone conservative who we thought was with us has said about Trump. It was really bad. I mean, it was – she sounded like General Kelly, you know, these people that just hate. It was really petty Yeah. on top of it. I don't it. get it. So, uh, but overall, I really don't care about her. I, I She's not important to me. I don't think she's nearly as important as she is. But yeah, she she is a master of the troll. So she will do, she'll, when she comes back, if she doesn't come back with a bang in the beginning, at some point, she'll pull some well, big troll Well, she likes to, to troll black publicity. celebrities. Yeah. Um. So I'm thinking she's going to troll Fannie Willis or Letitia James. She likes to go after these black women. It's it's a thing with her. Cardi B and, yeah. and uh, Meghan Markle and other, you know what I mean? That's her thing. Yeah. She, Kanye. She goes after a lot of the black celebrities because she, you know, that she's in that world and she's a black woman. And I guess she feels that that, you know, it helps her Blexit movement. I think she's going to go after one of them. But I think right now... She's trying to figure legally 
what she can do, what she can say, and you know, with her contract. But the the question is, is anybody going to care at this point? Because right, we haven't heard from her really. He's kept her in a nice, tidy little Unless corner you away to the from Daily everybody. Wire. Exactly. Yeah. Well, she's gonna. She'll do something. I mean, I, I what I'd like to see her do is go after Fanny Willis. It's going to be one of those. I think. I think she's going after Fanny Willis. That's my uh, yeah. prediction. Well, you know, it's it's the way. I want to take a moment to thank our Patreon supporters. Thank you all, and uh, our top Patreon supporters get a live on air. Thank you, shout out on each and every podcast episode. So the names you will hear now are our top Patreon supporters. I want to thank Andrew and Connie, Christine. ETW, Chuck, D, Pamela, Rick, Nick, Wesley, Macho, Mike P, Carlos, Paulette, John, Arctic Fox, Heather, David, Maria in Texas, Richard, Alice, K Mac, Lee Zepp, Shauna, Constance, and George. These are our top Patreon supporters. Thank you so much. And if you would like to become a Patreon supporter, of the program and support the program that way. There is a link in the description of this and of course, uh, all other episodes of the program. Just go to that link, uh, take you to our Patreon page and we'll walk you through all of it. You know, um, you know, the, the, all this Trump media mergers coming up. Do you know Trump's val- uh, net worth today? And just today, it's in, six and it, a half billion or something. Uh, no, well, no, his, his net worth increased $1 billion just today. Think about that. One billion dollars today. And, you know, a lot of these things rely on him being a part of it. And uh, that means he's doing well in court. His net worth increased today by one billion dollars. I believe. Think about that. That's insane. Yep. That's insane. So, you know, don't let anyone get you down or do any doom predictions about him not returning to the White House. It's going to happen. And it's going to be the most exciting day we've ever had. You know, when he comes back on Inauguration Day and is sworn in, the liberal meltdowns are going to be worse than at the Javits Center when Hillary lost that night. Oh, yeah. It's going to be be something like you've never seen. Now, listen, we're out of time for today. We will be back next time. I'm Brian Craig, always joined by my wife and co-host Kathy. Thanks for listening, everyone. We will talk to you next time.